nursery and I'm going to share with you guys the gifts that I got off my baby registry to help you if you're looking to get some ideas on what to put on your own registry because I know how overwhelming it can get between all the different options. I mean people tell you to get this and that. Don't do this. Don't do that. This is organic. This is not organic. It can be very overwhelming. I think at the end of the day what I decided when I started to feel overwhelmed, I just have to figure it out throughout the journey. You know like every mom's different. Every baby's different what works for someone doesn't work for another person. These are just ideas and guidelines for you to kind of figure out what you may or may not need. I may have stuff on this registry that I may not use in the future and I definitely want to let you guys know that along the way. So stay tuned for the vlogs because I will be updating you if I end up picking up something that wasn't on this registry that I'm obsessed with. I want you to know about it. In the beginning of this video, you saw my baby shower. I just put together a little mini vlog so you guys could get a glimpse of what it looked like. I did take more in-depth clips of the you know whole entire theme, what was going on. It just wasn't enough for a dedicated video. So I'm gonna put that in my third trimester vlog. And I'm so grateful for all of the family and friends who came to celebrate my little boy and contribute to this first year of being a mom because being a new mom and having to buy all of these gifts yourself can be very very expensive so I am so grateful to anyone who contributed to this new journey and let's get right into it because we have a few things to uh, cover so I don't want to chit chat too much I want to show you what I got let's talk about bath time this is one item that I continuously saw on everyone's registry and it's the angel care bathtub it's very affordable and everyone just seems to love it and I cannot wait for bath time oh just a little baby getting fresh and bubbly in the bath and just like playing with the bath toys is just gonna be such a fun thing to look forward to then this kept coming up also on people's registry the skip hop bath spout cover I don't really understand why this is such a necessity but it's really stinking cute and somewhat cheap so I, I added this. I also thought this was important to have. It's the ultimate bath set all-in-one bath kneeler and bath toy organizer. It is very hard on your knees to be leaning over the bath and bathing your children. I wanted something that would give me support but also dual purpose work as a toy organizer because eventually I don't have any now but I want to get him a few toys for the bath because I just remember having so much fun in the bath with all my bath toys. Speaking of toys, my friend did pick up this silicone sand pail with these sand molds and I'm so excited because since we do live by the beach, I definitely want to have a few beach days with him. Now this is one item that I felt like I wasn't quite sure it was a necessity or not and some people did address, they were like, just use your fingers and it's the baby bum brush. You could use your fingers, sure, but you know, like maybe one day I don't want to use my fingers and I have this silicone bum brush that I can pick up and use. So I just put it on there and someone bought it for me. Hopefully I don't have to use this, but I got an infrared thermometer that you just put on the baby's forehead. This was a very popular item. This is the Frida Baby 3-in-1 Nose Nail and Ear Picker. On TikTok, this baby electric nail file kept coming up in everyone's registry because the clips, I mean, I'm, I'd be afraid. I would be afraid I would cut my sweet little baby's fingernails and just miss and mess up. And this way, this allows to have like a smoother, safer nail clipping experience. So I'm going to try this out and let you know it comes with a bunch of different heads. Now I don't have the car seat right now because it's still being delivered, but we did end up going with the brand Nuna for the car seat and the stroller because it was just an all-in-one set that was really easy to use and navigate. And since I do live in an apartment and we travel a lot, this stroller and car seat set seem to just make the most sense for our lifestyle. I truly think that the most overwhelming part was picking the stroller and the car seat. There are just way too many options out there, but but I'm feeling pretty good about our selections and I will let you know I couldn't get myself to end up buying the Duna because I just felt like I was doubling up since we have a travel stroller. It just kind of seems silly to have two car seats. I may be wrong and I may end up getting the Duna in a few months. For right now, we just thought like 
those two were the way to go. And for the car as well, we got the baby safety mirror so that I can watch my little baby while I'm on the road. And then for the stroller, I ended up getting this little stroller fan for hot days because we do live in a hotter climate. And I'm also gonna use this during a birth. I saw that on TikTok also, that people loved bringing their fan with them because they were hot and sweaty and pushing out a dang human being. So I'm going to use this in the hospital and put this in my hospital bag also. Now for breastfeeding, I didn't end up getting the boppy pillow that everyone has. I, it was on one of my registries, just no one bought it for me. So I may end up getting that later on, but I heard that it's better more for tummy time for the baby rather than, you know, actually breastfeeding. If, you know, someone else is feeding the baby a bottle, it's good for that purpose. But for me personally, if I'm able to breastfeed, I did end up getting this My Breast friend. I've heard so many good things about this. My friend Brandy, who has her baby that you've seen in a few of my vlogs, she said that this wasn't around when she had her baby and if it was, she would have absolutely loved it. I'm excited to see, you know, if I can breastfeed or not. I am waiting on a few things to get until then to see, you know, what I may or may not need because if I can't breastfeed, then it's kind of silly to buy a bunch of other accessories for that sole purpose. Again, with the vlogs, I will be keeping you updated there. I got these neutral Ryan and Rose pacifiers. I don't know about pacifiers because I, it's so hard to wean them off of it, but also babies love them and it really does help calm them down. So I did just pick up only one pack and he may not even like these. Same with bottles. The bottles and pacifiers are hard because until you have that baby, you have no idea what their preference is going to be. And that's why my friend got me this bottle box, which she loved because she had a hard time figuring out what her baby wanted. She had to go to formula and using the bottles was very crucial for her. In this box, it has all of the more popular bottle brands and that way you can kind of test it out, see what your baby is loving and then go with one or two of the brands and have like a clearer idea. This actually wasn't on my registry. She just thought of this. What was on my registry was I did put the Komotomo bottle set on there because I just continuously saw people saying how much they loved it and how it's a pretty universal bottle, bottle for most babies. I've heard great things about this sit me up floor seat. So I put this on my registry for whenever the baby is a little bit bigger. And then we also did get a high chair that is very easy to fold and store because again, small space living. We live in a way bigger place than that studio apartment, but it's still an apartment. So we have to be conscious of our storage here. So most of the items here, I really wanted to be able to have easy collapsibility and just more narrow items so that we could fit them more in our closets. Now picking out what baby monitor I wanted to use was very overwhelming because there are so many options and they're very expensive. And I personally would have loved to get the Nanette camera that I can clearly visibly see him on my phone at all times, but it is so ick and I knew that no one was going to invest in that. So I did some more research. I don't know, I may change my mind. Like I just really love the comfort of being able to be at work and be able to see him on my phone if I want him to while he's napping. But in the meantime, I did pick up this video baby monitor. I don't think it's bad to have one or two monitors. So if I do end up getting one, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Lots of bibs. These are silicone bibs and these are really stinking cute bibs. My first Halloween, oh my goodness. He's gonna be here. I hope he's gonna be here. I kind of don't want him to go past Halloween because that's not fun. I want him to be here for the actual holiday. And then my first Thanksgiving, which he will definitely be here by. She didn't get me first Christmas one because she couldn't find one, but my friend did get me this LA themed bib. How cute is that? There's matcha on it, avocado, the Hollywood sign. And it's so stinking soft. Oh my gosh, there's the Griffith Observatory on it. So, oh, and the Grove, oh my gosh, the Grove, one of my favorite places in LA. And then other silicone items I picked up just because I heard that they're really easy to clean, but then my cousin did say the problem about the silicone bibs are that it can get stuck in their hair and kind of hurt. So that's, again, something I'm just gonna have to try and see if it, it works or not. But I did get these plates for when he's older and able to eat more solid foods, along with these little silicone spoons. Now for when we're out and about, because I'm gonna be that kind of mom who is just always out with their baby. My baby's gonna just be my best friend and never leaving my side. We're just gonna have the best time going on hikes, traveling the world together. 
you know, I say that now, but that's also because I'm pretty naive to everything. So stay tuned to see if I can really manifest that and make that happen. I hope I can. But a lot of people continue to like to remind me that I live in a la la land of what the reality of having a child actually is like. Um, but you know what? I'd like to prove them wrong. So in the meantime, I did pick up this baby carrier and it's the Ergo carrier. I've heard really, really good things about this one because it is the more affordable option compared to like the poppy one that I kept seeing and there's a few other ones that are very like stylish and work with your outfits and it's very fashion forward but I don't really care <laughs> I thought that this color was pretty stylish and would go with most of my clothes anyways and I really want to be able to go on hikes to him if I can and just keep him close and I like that this was a 360 carrier which means he can be facing the front or the back it also says he could be on the hip or literally like on your back as a backpack. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that either. I got a travel changing pad because I'm sure there will be multiple occurrences where we're gonna have issues while we're out and about. I'm gonna have to change them on the spot. So I thought this was a great thing to have on hand. I haven't picked up one for the house yet because I've been going back and forth on which one to choose. I know I need one that's super easy and cleanable. A lot of people just said, don't go with the cloth covers because it becomes a mess. So once I get that, you'll probably see it in my baby nursery tour. Let's get into the sleeping section of this registry. My dad ended up getting me this beautiful crib, which I will show you once it's all tied into the rest of the nursery. So I'm very grateful for that because that is a major purpose. And then I also got a mattress for that crib. I need to find some sheets for it. I haven't picked that up yet, but I did end up getting this snuggle me lounger so that he can, you know, be cozy while I'm doing dishes or if I'm in the shower and I need him to be nearby. This is a great way that I've seen moms put them in there and that they can rest and still be safe and you can still get things done. Also got the munchkin swing. Now the bassinet that I got is the halo bassinet. It's the cheapest one, $99. And I heard amazing things about halo, but I also didn't want to spend those prices. I also heard amazing things about what is that other one called? Ooh, I forgot. That's the one that everyone's obsessed with and it's so freaking expensive. Oh, the snoo. Everyone rants and raves about the expensive snoo. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I if, if it's a game changer for you, I'm so glad that you can afford that. But that is wildly expensive. And I just heard that if your baby gets used to that swinging vibration motion when they're supposed to be in deep sleep, it can cause a little bit of trouble if you're traveling and I don't wanna to have to deal with that because most likely I'm not gonna be able to have that in the different places that I'm going. So I did end up going with the one that didn't swing, but I still wanted a swing. So I got a swing for more like in between nap times or you know, if he's getting a little drowsy and just needs a little rest, but the swing might be nice. But when he needs to get to bed on time, we're putting him right into that bassinet, right into that crib. A little nighttime read, a little lullaby, and that's it. And you're going to bed. That's the approach I'm taking right now. Or I can even put on the baby shusher. This is great because I have gifted this to two women in my life that have had babies and they both have loved it because it is a portable shusher and it kind of soothes your baby to sleep. They just love that noise. So you can put this in the stroller and you can put this in the crib, wherever you need it it can go. Now my family friend who was at my baby shower was telling me how glad she was to see that this was on my registry because she loves gifting people this. And I kept seeing it on a lot of people's videos and it's the Hatch Rest Sound Machine and Night Light. So it soothes your baby. Also you can use the various colors, not only to just create an ambiance in your room, but I see some moms use it as, you know, the kid gets much older and is more aware of time. If they're like, 10 years old and they're like ready to get up and they have lots of energy. They assign a certain color to letting them know you can use like green and that means like, okay, you can come out of your room. We're ready to start the day or you can change it to a different color on your phone to let them know like, we need 10 more minutes of sleep, something like that. So I thought that was kind of like a cool parenting technique, but I do like the fact that you can do most things off of your phone. And that's why I'm kind of thinking I might need a baby monitor that is on my phone as well. Ugh, I don't know. Now swaddling. I hear that this can be kind of hard to do depending on your kid's movement. So my cousin did tell me that I should definitely invest in these swaddle me's because they're very easy to use. And then I also saw that this Halo sleep sack was a great swaddle to have as well. Now for the baby clothes because baby clothes are so stinking cute and I can't get enough of them. We got this adorable little beach hat. Come on, I cannot 
I cannot wait to see him in these clothes. Now a theme that was very popular with the clothes were dinosaurs and fish. Look at this. Just look at this. This dino shirt and little olive shorts. Oh my stinking goodness. Look. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so annoying. But that, how is that not just the cutest thing ever? It really is. And it comes with a little hat. I have to figure out what we're going to bring him. Like what his coming home outfit's going to be. It's a lot of pressure. Not really. The overalls with the elephants on them and the navy polo. Come on. Pack my diapers. I'm going fishing with grandpa. I'm just showing you a few. These aren't all the things that I got because it would just be the longest video ever. Ryan's brother got this for him because they love to play video games together. It says player three has entered the chat. Sorry, daddy, but I'm mommy's snugglesaurus. Okay, this is for dad. On Sundays, we watch football with daddy. And mommy too, because I do like football. I love having football on during the fall. Now, this onesie is one that that everyone recommends but it is very expensive and it's the magnetic knees because it's just so easy to unzip in the middle of the night you know when you're exhausted so i'm very grateful that someone got us at least one of these cute little socksies little frog footies and now we're gonna end on a sentimental note because this had me teary-eyed at my shower this onesie says home sweet maryland and then this one also has maryland on it with the heart just to remember when i'm in la where my roots are I can never forget, but I also want my little baby to know where his roots are as well from his mom and dad. So I hope you guys got some ideas from this if you are expecting a baby or if you are on your second child, third child, and you're just kind of like, oh, I kind of forgot where I need to start with all this and I've given some things away. I know a lot of people also go through that as well. Sometimes, you know, you need a little refresher. So I hope this refreshed your mind. And if you're not even expecting a kid, which I wasn't for many years and I still like watching these videos, I hope you guys just enjoyed it and want to continue along for the ride. I really appreciate all your support and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.